So this is the April uh, Collectible Card Club Vintage Baseball. I'm really behind on things. It's been really busy, so I'm playing catch-up. Um, obviously, we're here in the middle of May almost, and I'm just getting to this. So, you know, part of the problem is that these ship for me like the third week of the month, and so they arrive maybe just before the end of the month, and I just can't get at it right away. But anyway, let's do this now. Um, in fact, I've got a lot of stuff to catch up on. Uh, let's see what we have this time. We have an 83 Donruss, 81 Donruss, 86 Fleer, 87 Donruss. So there's an 86 Sport Flix pack. Um, looks like 89 Upper Deck here. Uh, let's see, 92 Upper Deck, 95 SP. I've seen this before. Uh, 93 upper deck, 90, 1990 upper deck, and over here, looks like we got all the early 90s upper deck. This is what, 91 upper deck, right? Yeah. 83 Fleer, 82 Donruss, 85 Fleer, 89 Donruss. So, not a bad assortment of packs. Um, let's hope for something good. I finally monetized my channel, if you've noticed. I and not surprisingly, all it really amounts to for me is a handful of nickels and dimes. And, you know, I don't want to put people through the hassle of having to sit through those, you know, wait five seconds or the 15 seconds. Um, but everybody does it. And so I figure, what the hell, I'll go ahead and monetize. And then, you know, I, I don't know if I'll ever, I mean, basically at this rate, it's going to take me a year to make like $100. There's a nice Ricky Henderson card that is off-centered. Put that there. All right, so that's 83 Fleur. Did I miss anything? I'm talking, not paying attention. I don't think so, right? All right. 82 Donruss. Looking for Cal Ripken. I do not, I do not own a Cal Ripken. 82 Donruss. That's Rigetti's rookie card. And I just put that over there as a notable. And that's a very nice George Brett card and a Tim Raines card. So a couple of Hall of Famers. These are really sharp. Very sharp. That one might be a little bit off center, top to bottom. Okay, let's move on. Put this over here. Let's grab the sports flicks. I remember these when they came out. I bought these in the store. I think it was KB Toys where I saw these, and they were expensive at the time. Sixty-nine cents a pack, I think. You only got three cards. You know, back in '86 or '87, you were getting like fifteen cards for thirty-five cents from Tops. Um, '86 sport flicks. I mean, I don't think there's anything in here. Uh, this is really just for fun. Uh, what's this? Is this Harold fucking Baines? Who is this? No, it's Carlton Fisk. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Joe Aquin Andujar, uh, uh, Joaquin Andujar, I know how to pronounce it, I'm just being a smart ass, and Rich Gossage. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, these are cool. I still like these cards. Just, there's really no, there is no value in them other than just a cool factor. Look at that. Lenticular, I guess they call that. A couple Hall of Famers here. <laughs> The quiz cards. All right, let's move on to, it's like 87 Donruss. Ooh, that opened easy. Looking for what? I'm looking for Bonds, Larkin. These are all nicely centered. Maybe I'll get something good in here. An off-centered strawberry Diamond King. Joe Johnson. This guy was, um, this guy was a great pitcher back in the late 80s. Dave Stewart. Cliff Johnson, nothing there. Um, two, two, two. Okay, let's look at uh, 85 Fleer. I haven't opened too much of this in general. I think I've gotten this pack before with this card club. Oh, a Dwight Gooden rookie. That's a fun pull. Um, a little off-centered, top to bottom. It's very off center, just off center, top to bottom. But that's great. I like that. Uh, Dwight Gooden was my favorite, and probably still is my favorite player of all time. Um, okay. This is, I think, 89 Donruss. 
Is that what I'm doing here? 89. Would love to pull another Griffey. I have so much of this stuff. I'm, I'm seriously thinking about just throwing the shit in the fireplace. Because um, I've busted open like two cello boxes, I think two or three wax boxes. And honestly, this card, it's not worth keeping the cards. It's just taking up space. Um, I mean, keep the good ones, the Hall of Famers, the Notables, and just throw all the junk away. 86 Fleer. Looking for what? Jose Canseco rookie card here. Center and Ozzie Smith. Another Dave Stewart. Yeah, I've got this card many times over. Um, okay. 91 upper deck. 91. So when I'm opening this stuff, I'm just looking for like Ken Griffey Jr., Don Mattingly. Um, I guess Frank Thomas. Did he have a 91 upper deck card? I don't know. Um, those types of players. Really nice looking cards. What's this? Rookie Threats. Who is this? Looks like Luis Gonzalez, Bagwell, and I'm not sure. Is that, um, I don't know who that dude in the middle is. Deion Sanders. That's a cool card. And uh, that's that. Okay, well, let's do um, this 81. Oh, 81 Donruss. This is brutal. Brutal collation for 81 Donruss. Let's see how we work out here. We got, uh, oh, oh, my God. Anyone, it's probably toxic. I don't even want to touch that. It's a Rick Dempsey card, I think. I would like, uh, what, Tim Raines, Ricky Henderson, second year. Well, these are terribly off center. Jim Palmer. Another Jim Palmer. They're, talk about bad collation. Two Jim Palmers in one pack. All right, living up to the hype. Uh, 83 Donruss. Let's see what we got. And we got nothing. Got an Alan Trammell card, which I'll put over there. Um, okay, 89 upper deck. Looking for Griffey Jr. And this is um, series. I'm not sure what series that is. But anyway. There's Eckersley. Roberto Alomar. Got a Joaquin into our hot box. Okay, struck out there. Okay, 92 upper deck. There's nothing really in here either. One of Gary Carter's last cards. 92. Two Gary. Oh, come on. What the hell is that? Okay, so this is 95 SP. I think I've had this in this. I think I get this every time. Um, yeah, this looks familiar. 
Terry Steinbach. That's Kirby Puckett. I'll take that. Kirby Puckett. Sticking together. Lenny Dykstra. I love Lenny Dykstra on the Howard Stern Show. Carlos Delgado. Right. Chan Ho Park. Jason Schmidt. BJ Surhoff. All right, not much there. I don't remember these cards. This was an era where I just didn't buy any any sports cards. Mid nineties. This is upper deck again. This is ninety three. So what didn't I get? Did I get eighty nine? Did I get the full run of upper deck cards? Eighty nine, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three. I think right. Uh, Bobby Jones. What's this? Ken Griffey Jr. Family. What the hell is this? Eh, I'll put that over there anyway. There's a Ricky. Is this Mike Trombley? It's a nice Ricky Henderson card. Tony Gwynn. Okay, and I am down to um, 90 upper deck, so nothing huge. I did get a, I'll go through the stack here at the end. I mean, I got a good mix of just uh, fan favorites and some Hall of Famers and this $40 box of cards. Make the value. Dwight Smith. Not sure. Okay, Kevin Mitchell and that Dave Winfield checklist card, Chet Lemon. Well, that I think that's everything, right? That'll do it. So let's do a quick, quick run through. Um, so these are, I guess, are the are the hits. So I got the Sportflex Hall of Famers here: Fisk and Gossage. This Gwyn Henderson, Puckett, a couple of Gary Carter cards, uh, Roberto Elmore, Eckersley. Jim Palmer, Barra Perry, off center 81 Donruss, Neon Dion. This is probably my favorite pull. Too bad it wasn't centered better. Um, I don't own this card. I don't think PSA graded. I don't think I do anyway. Um, so strawberry. This is good. These. Uh, this is a good pack. I got the Reigns. I got the Brett and the Dave Rigetti rookie. That's probably the best pack of the bunch. And then there's that uh, 83 Fleer Henderson. And that will do it for the April Collectible Card Club. Uh, vintage baseball. I do have uh, coming up the uh, modern basketball box. I had enough of the vintage series, uh, so I'm going to try modern basketball for for at least this month, uh, or probably last month and this month. I'm not going to cancel. I'm just there's too much shit going on. I'll let it run out. I'll let it run again for another month. But um, stay tuned for that. A lot more to come. A uh, couple comic book videos. I got Friday Night Filth. I'm, I'm cooking up another episode there. And I've had several Nolan Ryan updates, um, or several Nolan Ryan cards I've added in the last several weeks um, for another video for that. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, be back soon.